Hi, I'm John Isant from the Search Dog Unit of King County Search and Rescue, and I'm here with Lincoln and with Emmett, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things you want to bring with you the next time you go hiking with your dog. The most important is a leash, and a simple leash, 8 to 12 feet long, anything longer and you'll find it gets tangled. Retractable leads can be a little bit problematic in terms of being tangled around other dogs or you. And either a nice thick nylon one that won't cut your hands or one of the artificial material ones which is great when it's raining. Next very important thing is a collar with ID tags and whatever rabies tags may be necessary. Flat buckle collar like this works very well. Make sure you have it on your dog. You never know when your dog might escape and run away. Next most important thing is water. You can't depend on there being sufficient water, even in the Cascades. And so I bring anywhere from three to four liters for a full day of hiking. You also want to be sure that your dog is used to drinking out of whatever sort of container you're going to offer them the water in, such as a collapsible bowl like this. Another great option are hydration bladders. And once a dog has learned how to drink out of these, it's a really convenient option. And if you hold the nozzle up above the dog and the dog doesn't have a chance to lick it, it means that you can use the hydration bladder too. Now, of course, all dogs like treats, and it's a great idea to remember to bring along some treats for your dog. It's a great way to help them focus on you, to work on your recall in a new environment, and it's also good because you shouldn't be sharing the treats you might bring for yourself, your snack pack, with your dog. A lot of the things such as raisins or chocolate or any sort of peanut butter product that may have been sweetened with xylitol are actually really toxic to dogs. So remember to bring along your dog's treat bag. Let's think about some of the things you might want to put in your doggy bag as first aid items for when you're out on the trail. One of the most useful is a little bit of vet wrap. It's obviously very tough to put a band-aid on a furry dog. But if your dog gets a cut or a scrape, you can put a piece of gauze on it and then wrap it up with vet wrap and it'll hold on very nicely. Just don't wrap it too tightly because you want it to be a bandage, not a tourniquet. Cut paws are common from sharp rocks or broken glass and it's great to have some sort of a booty that you can use after you cover the, the cut so that you can keep it clean. These only cost a couple of dollars. You can even get fleece liners to give it a little bit of cushion and the dogs get quite used to it and can walk with it all the way back to the car in great shape. I like to be sure I always have some sort of a plier, small plier or a really good tweezer so that I can pull out any thorns or other embedded objects that the dog may have stepped on. And it's really useful to have a fine tooth metal comb in case your dog gets any sort of grungy stuff in its coat. More importantly, if you run into hornets, hornets tend to bury themselves in a dog's fur and can sting them later. And so this is great for getting out hornets or ticks or other things like that that you might encounter. If your dog does get stung by hornets, great to have a little bit of Benadryl. 25 milligrams works great for a dog like this of about 70 pounds. It's important to remember not to use any of the analgesics or anti-inflammatories you may have in your own first aid kit. Uh, aspirin is not good for dogs, and Tylenol and ibuprofen are quite toxic for dogs, so don't use those. Always have extra poop bags, and if things get really bad, you may have to carry your dog out. If your dog gets injured or if it runs into problems with heat exhaustion, small dog you can carry out on your own. A larger dog like this is a little bit harder and it's great to have some sort of a dog sling like this that the dog can slip its legs into and then you can use these as backpacking uh, strap and easily carry your dog out. Anything else we should tell them? What do you think? Okay, good dog.